Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I am Madden Gaming and I'm back with another reaction video. Today's video we got 10 huge confirmed things for Maximum Football 23. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited man. I'm so excited. I cannot wait till it come out. Before we hop into this video, be sure to like this video right now. Subscribe to your boy and without further ado, let's jump right into it. With Maximum Football set to release this spring, it's time to go over 10 important things that we all already know about the game. Some of these things have been revealed by the developers themselves, while other things we've been able to find out due to a gameplay leak that happened a few days ago. Recently, there was a play test for Maximum Football and somebody leaked some of the gameplay from it. And while it's not too close to the finished version because there were a lot of settings that were turned off for the play test, it actually looked pretty promising. Now, I'm not gonna be sharing the leaked footage, but if you really want to, you can find that it's not that hard. But what this leaked footage did was give us some extra information about the game that we didn't already know. This is going to be the first simulation football game in many years that can offer some type of an alternative to Madden on the market. And as soon as this game releases, I'm definitely gonna post some gameplay and some more breakdowns. So make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't miss those videos when they go live. But for now, let's talk about the 10 things we know about the game. For number one on the list, we're gonna start with some of the basic things you need to know about the game. The biggest being that it is a free to play game and it is coming out this spring on PC. And later this year, it will be coming out on both current and last gen consoles for Sony and Microsoft. Now recently they were asked about what are their plans to monetize the game seeing as a free to play game still needs to find some way to make money. They did say on Twitter that their content roadmaps are still being worked on. What that could mean is that there will be additional downloadable paid content to come later on. They've also mentioned in some other interviews that they might do in game ads as well in the stadium to help bring in some revenue. But they did say going free to play is the right move for them because that way they can build the game along alongside the community, take feedback in, and add things as they go, which many other free-to-play games have done in the past. Now, speaking of downloadable content, that brings us to number two. They've talked about a lot of downloadable content that is going to come after the game drops. It's going to be a live service game, which many games are nowadays, but especially free-to-play games, you need to keep the content coming. They said the game is going to continue to expand with new downloadable content being rolled out regularly, which includes fresh new feature sets, new rule sets, new game modes, and additional customizations. Now, before we continue with the rest of this list, let's hear a quick word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Raycon and the Everyday Earbuds. As you can see, I've got my black pair in right now, and I'm weather to get 15% off of your Raycon purchase. For number three, we gotta talk about gameplay. At the end of the day, if the gameplay isn't good, people aren't gonna care as much. And that's what kind of held the old maximum football back. The gameplay just wasn't there. But this game has been completely torn down and rebuilt by Modest Games. They've redone all of the animations. They've brought in real players to motion capture these animations. And they're also going to be harnessing the power of the Unreal Engine 5, which is probably the most exciting thing about this game, as we haven't seen any major football game on this engine yet. Maximum football Football will be a physics-based game, they said, and that includes physics-based tackling. Now, during the leaks, we got to see a look at some of the things that were disabled or were a work in progress on the menu screens, so we got an idea of some extra things that are confirmed to be in the game. Gameplay-wise, there's going to be hot routes, there's going to be bobble and dive catches, there are also going to be harder hits than what you see in Madden, and that's something they spoke about in an interview, saying that the fact that they're not licensed by the NFL actually gives them more freedom with things like harder hits and injuries, whereas with Madden, they kind of have to comply with the NFL and what they want. There's also going to be substitutions in the game. We saw that on the menu set. And these are things that you might come to expect because they have been in Madden. But when you have a game that's more of a startup, it might not have everything that you've come to expect from the Madden game because they're building something new. But to see that they're going to have all of these little things involved with the gameplay out of the gate is definitely very promising. They've also spoke briefly about some of the AI related stuff on their Twitter channels, speaking about how the defense will react to mobile quarterbacks. While some QBs are more of a threat to run than others, that will play into how the AI defense chooses to play them and how they attack mobile QBs. It also appears that the game will have things such as double team blocks and gang tackling. So again, for a game coming right out the gate, the gameplay does have a lot of the little things that you would want to see. Number four, maximum football will be both a college and a pro style game with the different rule sets. Now this is in line with, with the old 
old maximum football was. They also said that they're going to be introducing the Canadian rules to the game later on because that is something that was in the older maximum football games. So they want to kind of keep that tradition around. They said it won't launch with Canadian rules, but it will be one of those downloadable pieces of content later on. Now, I believe maximum football is a little bit more of a college style game at heart, but you're going to have the pro style rules and you're going to have pro style modes as well. So they're trying to give you kind of the best of both worlds, which is really cool and not something we've really successfully seen done on a high level in other football games. So this is something to be really excited about. Number five, game modes. We already know of a few game modes that's going to be present in this game, but with the leak that happened a few days ago, we saw something pretty interesting. Of course, there's going to be an exhibition mode. There's going to be a practice mode, but something we saw on the leaked menu was that it appears the game will have a spectator mode, something that Madden does not even have. A spectator mode would be a way for you to watch games that are happening without you actually playing in them. So for an online game, if two buddies are playing, you would be able to watch this game. Now we are just assuming what the spectator mode means for this game, but typically that's what a spectator mode is for you to spectate something else that's going on. There's also going to be a dynasty and a pro season mode. In dynasty mode, you will assume the role of a head coach and build your ideal league, draft, recruit, and manage your dream team and take them all the way to greatness. In pro season mode, you will play through a professional season against 31 teams, all going head to head for the championship. They also said the dynasty and pro season mode can work together in the same universe. So if you start a dynasty mode, you can then import those players over to pro season mode. So again, it is a college game and a pro style game that live in the same universe, something that's really cool and something we haven't really seen done on a high level before. Number six, the game is going to have online head to head and local co-op play with friends. They did say that they want to eventually have online co-op and even go as far as having 11 on 11 online, which has not been done in a football game before. They said ideally players could just drop in and out of games so that you don't have to wait for all 22 people to start up a game. But right out the gate, you're going to have the regular online head to head, which is going to be good for this game to be successful. You're going to have to have an online head to head. And in person, you can do local co-op play with friends, which is always a nice touch. Number seven, unmatched customization. This is one of the biggest selling points of the game because with a game that is not licensed by the NFL or any other league, you're going to have to have really good customization. They said the customization will be endless and that you'll be able to personalize every aspect of your team from logos, jerseys, and helmets to individual pieces of equipment, and then share your creations with the community. You'll also be able to edit custom rosters and everything like that and share those online. So pretty shortly after release, you're going to have people that are going to create NFL teams with real NFL rosters, maybe even some college teams as well with their college rosters. So this is really going to be the thing that does carry this game because it doesn't have a license. But from the old maximum football, seeing what they were able to do with customization and getting a peek at some of the early customization that they have released so far, this definitely looks like a game that's going to be able to be customized to your liking down to every last detail. Number eight, the play call screen. We did get a look at this in the leaked images, and this does kind of look similar to what we've come to know in Madden. And I don't think that's a bad thing because if it's not broke, don't fix it. When you have this one football game that's been around for so long and there hasn't really been any competitors, the little aspects of that game that are working fine, you should just kind of adapt that for your game just so when new players are coming over, it's one less hurdle that they have to go over. It's not a whole new system they have to learn. The play call screen had coach suggestions, the ability to filter by play type, by formation, and also save favorite plays. It also showed previous plays, all things that we've come to know in Madden and things that we're already used to. So again, it won't be a whole new system that you have to learn. Number nine, the atmosphere. We already knew that this was going to be something they focused on because they talked about this in some previous articles, but watching the leaked gameplay, it definitely surprised me just how good the atmosphere sounded. And they did note that this was going to be significantly expanded upon before the game even comes out. But the crowd got really excited for big plays, for turnovers, for touchdowns. You heard some on-field chatter from the players themselves, and it kind of sounded a little bit more like a college atmosphere than a pro atmosphere. It seems like they're leaning more to the college style in terms of the crowd, which is a good thing because the crowds in college are always way better. There were even some parts where you heard bands playing after touchdowns. So again, that's why I say it sounds like they're leaning more to the college atmosphere, which is all great. But along with the atmosphere, it's also important to note that there will be no announcers in the game at launch. And they said this is something that they don't want to put in the game until it is perfect and ready and that it will be one of the content updates that come after the game is released. So that won't be in there at launch, but it should be coming not too far after. 
And number 10, these are some other little details that I noticed. And the reason they're important is because these things are not currently in Madden. So I thought it would be important to list these things. In the leaked gameplay, we saw that there are refs on the field. Now for me, this isn't really a big thing, but I know a lot of people have made a big deal over the last few years since they were removed from Madden. Well, you'll be happy to know that they are indeed in maximum football. There's also a coin toss in maximum football. Another thing that a lot of people have complained about over the years. I do think you get some coin toss in Madden for big games like the Super Bowl. And I believe the reason they took it out is because regular NFL games don't typically show the coin toss that much anymore, but they do show them for big games, I believe like playoffs and Super Bowl. And so that's kind of where you see it in Madden. But it appears that this is going to be an every game thing with maximum football. There's also apparently going to be a halftime show. It was turned off in the menu on the play test leak, but it appears that there's going to be an actual halftime show when the game comes out. And Madden doesn't really have a good halftime show or much of one. If you want to call what they do have a halftime show, it's not really anything too exciting. So I'm curious to see what maximum football is going to do for a halftime show. Is it going to be something simple and basic? Or are they going to try to do something a little bit more innovative? All in all, everything we've heard about the game so far sounds really good. And it's nice to see another new football game coming into the space. It does have a lot of hype and attention. As soon as we get official gameplay, I'll definitely be posting it here on this channel. So make sure to stay tuned. Speaking of football games, we're also going to be getting a new NCAA college. Thing, the free to play thing, they already had me like, yeah, I want to play this. Second, uh, what they, the local, local, what is it the, the online locally? That's me. I don't really play online games like that, to be honest with you. I will try to make video and when I do play, I'll make videos about it. Yeah, that's going to be good. Uh, a lot, a lot of good. I'm seeing a lot of good things. Hopefully the game is fun. I'm not, I'm not trying, I'm not going to be like, ah, oh, compare this to mad and this and that. I just want it to be fun. You know what I mean? Overall, I think, I think it's going to be a solid one. And I did not even know it was elite. So I'm going to have to check that out on my own. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this reaction. Love every single one of you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.